For a while now, we've had micro views for the built-in effects within Studio One, and we can see at the top of each of these channels, I have the, by double clicking on this header here for the view meter, we can see this is the Personas view meter that comes with Studio One. Uh, we have that at the top, and I like to use this for gain staging my mixes. Um, let's go ahead and pull this up so we can see a bit more. But then here we have the compressor that comes with Studio One. By double clicking, we can open up its floating window and clicking once, we can see the micro view there for that. Here we have our Pro EQ. Again, single click to view it. Here is the analog delay, and then single clicking, we can access parameters for it. So most of us are already familiar with that, but relatively recently, we now have the option to single click on our third party plugins. So double clicking, we have the spark verb here. And if I single click once, we can see its parameters here. Now we'll pull this up even further. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can actually tailor what we're seeing here, which parameters we choose to see. So if I were to right click on our header for the spark verb, and then down at the very bottom, we have set up micro edit parameters. I'll click once on that. And let's go ahead and pull this window over a bit. So we can see room size, decay, base, room size, decay, base, and so on. But we can actually remove parameters that we would prefer not to see. So the shape, I can highlight that and then remove. Maybe I'd like to add the width so I can select that and add. And now we can see we have width at the bottom here. I'll go ahead and click OK. And before we leave here, just note, you can see all of the different parameters for the particular third party plugin that you're using by scrolling down. We'll go ahead and close that window out. So then we can click hold and drag up or down to adjust its setting. We can also use our mouse wheel for a more precise control. Now another thing that we can do with these parameters in the micro view is right click and then we can actually assign this to a macro. So I'll assign this to knob one and I'll actually do the same for the decay time. So let's click here, right click. We'll assign that to knob one as well. So now we'll click on the channel editor button here at the bottom of our channel. Let's pull this over and let's switch over to the macro panel. And we can see we have this room size. And when I control this, just take note of the top two parameters there. They're both being adjusted at the same time with this one knob here. Okay, and if I click on the wrench icon, we can then see the specific assignments that have been made here. And at the bottom, we can add even more targets or remove targets. So if I select the decay time, we can go ahead and remove that out. And now we're just going to be, we'll exit out of this edit mode. Now we'll just be adjusting that room size. Now let's close out this window here. Now we can also by right clicking on a parameter within the micro view, we can edit automation for the room size. So if I click on that, we can see that we're taken, we'll close this out for a second, that a track is now, or automation lane is now created and we can come in and add points manually or record live and make some adjustments to that room size parameter. Let's come back to our mix console. And the last thing I'd like to make note of is that the micro view is also available in our inspector, of course. So if I go ahead and collapse the micro view here within the inspector, then we see that that goes away in our mix console. We can also, of course, right click here and make some assignments to our macro and automation as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and wrap up here. I hope this quick tip has been helpful and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.